go to radio and then hit enter and it looks like they spawned so you want to use independent I hear they all come it's a whole mess of them Today I'm going to share a script with you where you can spawn any type of soldier from any faction in any mod that will seek and hunt the player. Hunt player script. Alright, so I have a little mission here and we have a player set up. Let's go to the scenario tab at the top and then down to where it says open scenario folder and install the script. Alright, here we are in the mission folder. I'm going to bring up another folder with the script in it and we're just going to drag it to the mission folder. So I'm going to link this in the description of the video and when you download it, open the zip file and then just drag the script into your mission folder. And then you can get rid of the zip file. So this is all you need to do is put the script into your mission folder just like this. And there's other stuff that you need to do in the mission itself to use the script, but I'll show you that after we go over the script. So let's open the script. The script was written by math. All these descriptions I added I added these descriptions in and I added these codes in right here not these those were already established by math himself I added all those to kinda of give an idea of what you can adjust in the script this script is activated or called on a trigger. If you set up a radio trigger, you take this code right here and you put it in the on activation box of a trigger. And then when you activate the trigger, then the units that you define here will spawn and then come and hunt you. For this to work, what you need to do is place a marker. So it says here spawn units on a marker MK1 or spawn custom amount in type. You have two codes here. You have this code here, which spawns the units that you define that are going to come and hunt you and then you have this code here which defines where they will spawn what faction side they will spawn at and how many of them will spawn so if you want to use this code here you just go like that and enable this code to function and then you could define how many are going to spawn we're not going to do that we're just going to keep that disabled and what I'm going to show you here is all you need to worry about is this code here and that's it so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna place a marker in your mission it's going to be named MK1 but you don't need to name it MK1 it could be mark 1 it could be mark it could be whatever you want to name your marker whatever name you're gonna give your marker is what's going to be in between these two quotes right here the enemy that's going to spawn is going to be east or op4 and if you wanted to change east to let's say west then you just make it west if you want blue4 attacking you or hunting you then just change this to west if you want independent attacking you or hunting you then just change this to independent or resistant here is an array of class names that you'll define and I'll show you how to acquire these these are right now this is set up for 04 FIA soldiers and this is how many will spawn now if you wanted more or less of these then you just add more class names and that's it all right what we're gonna do now is we're going to place a radio trigger so we're gonna go to F3 I'm gonna choose a trigger without a size we're just gonna place that right here we're going to edit the trigger and we're gonna set this to repeatable and then we're gonna go to activation and we're gonna set this to radio alpha and at the top under the text we're going to put hunt player now you don't have to put hunt player that's just the text for the uh, radio trigger itself and in the on activation box what you're going to do is you're going to go to the script and what you're going to do is you're going to copy this code right here press control c and then you're going to go back into the mission and in the on activation box you're going to press control v so when you activate the radio trigger it's going to call the script to function and then the AI is going to spawn. We're going to add a hint to this and 
for those of you who watch my videos, you know that I like to add hints to triggers for feedback. So this is this is only for feedback. You don't need to do this, but we're just gonna put a hint. Base quote: You are being hunted. Exclamation point. End quote. And then semicolon. When this hint goes off, that just lets you know that you called the script and that the enemy has spawned, and then you're gonna be hunted. That's all that's doing. All right. Once you have that, just hit OK. And that's good to go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to set up a marker. And we're just going to place a start marker. Place it right here. Now just one tip with the marker. Just one tip with the marker. If you don't want to see the marker on the map when you play your mission. Because you don't want to know where the enemy is spawning from. Then what you do is you go to where it says marker style in the marker itself and then go to alpha which if you read the tooltip there it says transparency so when you set this down to the bottom to the left and it says zero percent that means the marker will not show so if i click it's going to disappear and you don't see it if you need to know where it's at then just click on we need to give this marker a variable name so the marker name in the script currently is mk1 and that's it so that's all you have to do just hit ok so now you have a marker named mk1 we'll save our mission and let's test it out all right so now what you do is you go to you press zero on your keyboard you go down to radio you hit that and you'll see hunt player as we named it as we named the radio trigger you hit enter you'll get our hint that we put up and in the distance should have binoculars on me. We're gonna see a bunch of AI FIA, FIA soldiers that spawned and they're gonna come your way. And hunt you. Right now they're trying to seek your position. Let's kill a few of these guys and then I'll show you the other way to do this. So you see how that works. Now let's try something else. What you can do instead of a radio trigger, let's say the player walks through a trigger and doesn't know it. So if I remove the hint, we set this up for blue four present. And let's say I entered a base. Let's do this. Let's say this was the enemy's base. This was the enemy's base and you entered their base and somehow they were alerted to your presence and they called up reinforcements or a group to come and seek you out and basically stop you from doing whatever that you're going to be doing. So if you enter the trigger we did we remove the hint remember so if we go to spectator you could see the list of ai 
that are on their, on their way. What I'm going to show you now is how to acquire class names for units that you want to spawn. We're going to go to independent. Before we place independent, because we're going to be fighting independent, we'll go to attributes, we'll go to general, and then independent legions to blue four. We're going to do that because we want them to attack us. And that's all we need to do. So for independent, we're going to go to groups, and we're going to place down a bunch of looters. It'll be a criminal gang. I'm just going to place them right there. So all you need to do for custom units is basically place your units that you want. We're actually going to have two groups. So you get a looter group. And we'll just have a couple more like that. So we have all these guys that we want to spawn that are going to hunt us. And what you do is you highlight them all. So draw a box around them all like this. Right click one of them. And then go down to where it says log. And then log classes to clipboard. Once that menu disappears then you've logged the class names. So what you do now is highlight these guys. Delete them. Save your mission and go back to the script and add the class names to the script. Now since these guys are independent, then what you're going to put here is independent. And what you're going to do is you're going to remove all this, give it some space. And right here you're going to press Control V which will paste the class names that you acquired from the editor. So you see all the class names that I acquired. And what you need to do now is put quotes before and after and a comma after each class name. So I'm going to do that real quick here. And then once you get all the quotes, then after starting with the top one, you're going to put a comma. And then the last one doesn't get a comma. We're just going to bring this up. All right, so keep that in mind. So you need a quote before and after the class name, and then a comma after that class name, but not at the end. And just make sure that they all have commas. If, they're, if you're missing a quote or a comma in any one of these class names, you're going to get an error and your mission's not going to load. If that happens, then just check your array again and make sure that each line, each class name has a, com, a quote and a comma before and after, just like that. All right, so that's all you have to do. Now, if you wanted more of the same guys, like you wanted a whole mess of them, then just copy what you just did here and go one line down and paste them. So now you got a whole mess of them. We could do that too. Now, if you do that, just remember the last line has no comma. And let's see, we got to find the middle line that was up here, which is this one, and add a comma. All right, we're going to save that. Let's go back into the mission and check it out. All right, let's go to our radio trigger. Hit zero, go to radio, and then hit enter. And it looks like they spawned. So you want to use independent. I hear they all come. whole mess of them. So you could set this up however you want, but now you have this option.
kill me. <laughs> there is another script uh, specifically for hunting that me and Rite Gear put together. It's called Hunt Her and Hunter AI script. And I will link it on the screen right here. You can check that out. That does a lot more stuff and really designed for hunting and it will do a lot more than what this script will do. Alright, thanks for watching. I will catch you guys on the next video.